our dear viewers and welcome back to our show Diet Myths. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic and it's weight control. So there are many aspects that play into the weight control. We have the types of food we eat and then the types of like meals we consume and when we consume this food. So this will be a two-part episode and today in part one of the episode we're going to talk about the different food groups and how they play in with our weight control. So like you probably know there are many different food groups and there are many different myths about foods that can increase your body weight, foods that can make you lose weight and foods that can actually impact you know where your fat or where your weight is stored and it's not quite true and actually the bigger picture is just very simple and very clear. The healthier your diet is and the more straightforward it is, the easier um, it will be for you to lose weight and actually maintain your weight. You don't want a diet that's very complicated and you don't want a diet that consists of many foods that are hard to obtain or that are just not part of you know, your tradition or what your household provides. So one of like the main topics that I want to talk about right now and it's a very controversial food group and that's the dairy food group. So we've seen so much research tell us that you know the more dairy you consume or if you consume three to four servings or cups of dairy then you will be losing weight. Um, some research actually promises weight loss in the abdominal area if you consume things like yogurt. Um, now, yogurt does provide a lot of promising research, so we see a lot of benefits from yogurt and perhaps it's the bacteria, the healthy bacteria found in the yogurt that can promote intestinal and gut health. Dairy like milk, cheese and other of the dairy products, maybe liban, don't seem to be as promising, but the research is still very controversial. So when you're looking at the dairy food group, it's very important for you to consume foods in moderation. Maybe increase your yogurt consumption and limit your milk or dairy consumption, especially if you're an adult. Now we're gonna look at the rest of the food groups and discuss them one by one and see how they affect our weight control. Stay tuned. Back, our dear viewers. Now let's take a look at these other food groups and how they impact our weight control. 
So one of the main controversial food groups is fats and nuts to be precise. We've heard so many people say don't consume the nuts because you know in just a small amount of nuts the calories um, that are packed in it are just so great. And it's true, nuts do pack a lot of calories and fats in general um, pack almost 9 calories per gram which is a whole lot. But when you look at the health benefits of nuts, you realize that just because they're so packed in calories doesn't mean that they'll necessarily make us gain weight. So nuts are a very important food for you to include um, in your weight loss or healthy plan journey where it will control your weight and it actually might help you reduce your weight, especially if you consume it within moderation. So I always tell a lot of our patients here at Desman Diabetes Institute, try to consume somewhere between six to eight almonds and that can be considered one serving. Just take a handful and close your fist and however much fist fits inside your fist or your handful, that is how much you should be eating. I could fit about six, so I think for a woman, six is around a good number. Walnuts are also very good, and so are cashews. Always try to look for the unsalted, unroasted, so the raw nuts, where they contain more um, fats and more healthy oils, because we don't want to pack extra calories from the roasting process or from, you know, the flavoring process. And another very important food group to always keep in mind and include, and it's actually a large one, and that's our main, you know, carbohydrate or energy source food group. And that's the whole grains, the fruits and the vegetables. It's very important to include all three of these in your diet. Whole grains really, really, really impact your weight and your control in weight, especially because they contain a huge or a large amount of fiber in them. And this can make you feel very full for a long time. You know, it has so many health benefits. It can reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes and even cardiovascular disease or heart disease problems are reduced when you consume a lot of fiber. So always try to opt for the whole grain options. And I know it's sometimes hard because we're so used to having our white rice and our white bread but it's these simple changes that we make over time that can be lasting changes fruits and vegetable of course are amazing choices all throughout the day but with fruits limit them to around three portions a day and not more so now we're going to continue talking about foods that we want to avoid to control our weight stay tuned Now let's look at these foods that we want to avoid to control our weight. If there is one thing I want you to get out of this episode is that you should never ever ever drink your calories. So do we don't want to have any liquid or drink any liquid that will, you know, have a decent or substantial amount of calories in it. So that includes any sweetened beverage. And by sweetened beverage, you know, it can be like a syrup type beverage. It can be like a powdered sweetened beverage. Um, and it can also be these carbonated beverages that a lot of us are used to having and I know that like you know so many people opt for the diet versions of these sweetened beverage but you need to realize that even these artificial sweeteners could have some impact on your health another really important you know sweetened beverage that a lot of people you know consume thinking it's a healthy option but it could contribute to weight gain are the fruit juices now things like orange juice you know or even apple juice or other juices pack a lot of calories and pack a lot of carbohydrates in them and you tend to lose the fiber that we said is very important and we want you to have which you only get when you consume the whole fruit so i believe that fruits are made to be consumed whole as they are and fruit juices should always be avoided they just pack so many calories and you tend to eat like three or four fruits in one cup of fruit juice, which is just unnecessary and too much for any person to have. You always have to realize that too much of a good thing can always backfire and become something bad. And we don't want you to lose track when you're consuming a lot of good things. I see a lot of people, you know, 
consume an organic diet or they think they're consuming such a healthy diet filled with fruits and vegetables but when you over consume a certain food group it really does tend to backfire so now I want you to put all these pieces of the puzzles together and realize that you know we do want to increase the whole greens we do want to increase our whole fruits so fruits that come as they are we want to increase the amount of vegetables we eat and again whole vegetables and keep them with their peel keep them as they are always keep the food intact we definitely do want to increase the amount of nuts we consume but within limitation so make sure you're getting the right serving size when you consume them and when it comes to dairy a low fat option is always a safe bet for you and then try to stick to yogurt more than you're sticking to like cheeses or milk or other dairy products that could you know have some negative effects like they could pack a lot of fat in them and you know just don't seem to be as promising as yogurt and of course hydration is always key try to drink around six to eight glasses of water a day you will be surprised how much hydration can help you feel better can boost energy can you know boost your mood and help with digestion especially with all these high fiber foods that you would be consuming with whole grains i really hope you guys enjoyed our episode today and i hope you learned so much about um, the weight control and in the next part of our episode we're going to be looking at habits and patterns within our diet that can impact our weight hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time